Major new improvements have been included in this version of RealFlow for Hybrido. Faster speed, distance fields, particle sampling, interaction factors and much more. For starters, where there were previously only 8 particles per voxel in the grid fluid domain, you can now decide how many particles you want per voxel. Increasing the particle sampling parameter will waste less time in simulation than increasing the resolution. With the particle sampling set to default, this scene has 142,544 particles. Increasing the particle sampling to 4 means we will have 1,140,352 particles. The particle sampling parameter, rather than the resolution parameter, is modified to increase the number of particles per cell. The interaction factor parameter for objects linked to the grid fluid domain controls the force the object will use to push the particles. High values indicate that the object will push the particles with more force and lower values indicate less force. Here you have two examples of the interaction factor parameter. In the first video the interaction factor is 1 and in the second video it's set to 10. So here you can see that the higher value in the second video affects the way that the object pushes the particles. There is now a new surface for the grid fluid domain nodes. In the new version of RealFlow, the GFD surface will be represented by a distance field. Once the distance field is calculated, it can be used in cache mode to accelerate the simulation. The detail threshold has been included in this panel and removed from the grid mesh and the secondary elements. Displacement map cal calculation has also been updated and improved. You can decide whether or not the displacement maps are calculated. Once it's calculated, the Use Cache option becomes available to speed things up. You can see how the displacement map is applied and wipe caps created for a grid mesh in the RealFlow viewport. Evaluation UVW mapping indicates what UV mapping is used to evaluate the particle's displacement at a given position. Vorticity attenuation can be found as a new parameter in the displacement panel. The new tab UV mapping will indicate how the particles are going to be mapped. New file formats have been added to export with Hybrido from the Export Central, including the velocity vorticity maps, the distance field files, and the velocity field files.
hybrid flow now gives you the option to save distance fields when you're using hybrid -er. In this scene, the surface of the grid fluid domain 1 is computed using the from particles mode. If you take a look at the distance field in the viewport, you can spot red areas indicating the maximum proximity of the surface. Distance field files can then be exported from the export central. The file format is open and easy to use. The grid mesh is then adjusted to the surface. In the case of the grid fluid domain 01, the surface was calculated using the from particles mode. Showing the mesh for the grid mesh 01, you can see that the particles are close to the red areas, depending on the detail threshold parameter. Modifying the detail threshold parameter actually changes the surface. Surface is leaving out those particles that are in areas where more detail is needed. When the source parameter is set to from particles, other parameters such as smooth or auto radius will become available to modify the surface. Auto cell size will use the grid cell size to calculate the fluid surface. If the source parameter is set to from field, the surface will be computed using the fluid field. Using a value of zero for the parameter detail threshold when you are using from field will create a surface that's adjusted to the cells of the fluid. Increasing the detail threshold parameter will smooth the surface when using the from field mode. Thanks for watching.